Okay guys, you just watched the install on the fuel injectors. We're gonna go ahead and code those injectors to the car so they know exactly what they're working with. So go ahead and turn on your car. I'm not sure if you're gonna be using MHD or some sort of other software. I personally am using an Autel system. It's pretty good when you're using it for as many cars as I am, different makes. But we're gonna go ahead and BMW. So I had you write down the numbers off the side of the fuel injectors. If you do not have the numbers for your fuel injectors, the previous video I made, you can see where those are located. Um, quick explanation, they are on the side, the left side of the fuel injector. There's a set of three numbers and then just below it, another set of three numbers on the furthest left side of the injector. All the way on the right side, you'll see where they are indexed. And all the way on the opposite side, you'll see the two lines that you will retrieve these numbers from and you're gonna need these for coating them into the car. So, we'll go ahead and get it set up. Some of these things take a while to communicate. <clears throat> and you don't have to use this scanner specifically. There are quite a few out there that will allow you to do this. I just happen to have this. And it does wonderful for just about every make and model that I use it for. Function. So we're going to enter new value. We changed the rear three or the three rear cylinders. So injectors four, five, and six. So we'll go ahead and four. And as it wrote down here, five, six, one. And if you did change all of your fuel injectors, you would just do this process for all six. But since we did change just the rear three, we're going to recode the rear three. save those so because this was originally an index one car um, the previous values are slightly different from what is entered as you can see they're off just a couple digits switch the car off as instructed, oh, and then it says again right here, due to conversions performed in the control unit, the past or the last place of each value may deviate slightly from the injector value. The deviation is not an error. 
So go ahead and switch back on. And it's all set. So, pretty simple, straightforward process. Again, if you are doing all six, you would just do that process for all six of them. And, yeah, stay tuned for more videos, guys. If you like the video, please go ahead and give it, give it a thumbs up. It helps me a ton. And if you want to keep seeing more content, please go ahead and subscribe. Thanks, guys.